Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a good update on the Fapani. If you don't remember or haven't heard of the Fapanine, it's really the unfortunate nickname that was given to that 2014 celebrity image leak scandal. This is where some unnamed hackers were able to gain access to over 100 celebrities' iCloud and Gmail accounts and were able to use that to actually steal a lot of the photos that their mobile devices shared with the cloud. And many of these photos were really intimate private photos that these celebrities really didn't want to share publicly. In any case, at the time, no one really knew for sure how these bad guys were able to do it. It could have been a number of things. Some thought maybe it was some sort of vulnerability the attackers took advantage of. Others thought they may have guessed the passwords or maybe brute forced them or used password reset mechanisms together. And of course, it was always a possibility that the attackers sent phishing emails to get these credentials. In any case, today's update is really good news because a man in Pennsylvania has pled guilty to stealing the photos from, I think it was, 70 iCloud accounts and 50 Gmail accounts. And he's going to probably get 18 months in prison for this crime. So what's the takeaway here? Besides the fact that it's always good when a criminal is being held accountable for his disgusting action, well, the other takeaway is the fact that we now learn that this guy actually used phishing attacks to get these credentials from the celebrities. He essentially sent emails that appeared to come from a Google or Apple that was basically asking the victims to supply their credentials. So this was really just just a phishing attack or maybe a spear phishing attack since he targeted these celebrities directly. In either case, the takeaway here is to beware of phishing and spear phishing. It's been one of my predictions for 2016 that we're seeing increased use of spear phishing attacks to gain access to our networks and to trick users into doing things they shouldn't. So remember all the basic phishing tips. You know, if anybody emails you asking you for your credentials, you should probably not give them. If there's any links in emails asking you to to go enter your credentials, you probably should not click that link in the email. Rather, if you think it might be legitimate, at least go to the site directly. And for spear phishing, we definitely need to train our users that some attacks are kind of harder to see. Even if uh, some sort of email comes from someone that you legitimately know and might be discussing something you legitimately do every day, you need to pay attention to context of that email to look for hints that that might not be the person you think it is. Anyways, be sure your users are aware of phishing and spear phishing and have some techniques to try to catch these malicious emails. Anyways, it's good to see this criminal has been caught. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.